our guest, Jason Chaffetz, has a new book out, The Deep State, How an Army of Bureaucrats Protected Barack Obama and is Working to Destroy the Trump Agenda. His book talks about government agencies being weaponized in the service of political battles. Go on then, Jason. Uh, it really is amazing. There is a concerted, brazen event uh, that these people are getting together to take down the Donald Trump agenda. Uh, they don't do so with, you know, tinfoil hats in secret off in some corner. They actually go out, they release classified information. Mm -hmm. They do these anonymous op-eds and, and share information that shouldn't be out there. Uh, they simply just ignore what the president will say and not do it. I mean, you just had President Trump say, let's go ahead and release these yeah. FISA documents and these uh, text messages messages unredacted but of course none of that happened and because the deep state will push back they don't want anything to happen so in the book I detail everything from the EPA and the Department of Interior to the Department of Justice the State Department and others Homeland Security they will do anything so that they don't have accountability and they can just do what they see fit they don't want to be held accountable that's right I mean honestly what I actually like about the Woodward book and the anonymous op-ed and that and now this business with R Rosenstein is that it kind of confirms what we've been saying I mean our friend uh, Dana Perino she kind of slightly teases us about the deep state you know she kind of jokes that we're right. uh, overdoing it but honestly it, it's it, almost daily we're seeing evidence that it's there and they really are trying to undermine the president Look, it doesn't matter what you want to call if you want to call it the deep state, if you want to call it a shadow government, we are seeing the implications here. There's been a major paradigm yeah. shift, and they are uncomfortable with it. They weren't expecting it. They picked their candidate. They wanted Hillary yes. Clinton to win, and she did not win. So whatever backdoor deals were done, you know, guaranteeing that she was going to win, they are now off the table, and this makes them tremendously uncomfortable. There's an earthquake in D.C., and people that have had power for a very long time are not going to let go of it easily. Yes, that's the crucial point. They hate the threat to their power. What do you think we can do about it? Well, you're just a pile on there. They don't want a disruptive uh, personality like Donald Trump who's going to hold them accountable. Yes. And so, in part, Congress has to stand up for itself. You know, if you're investigating the Department of Justice, as Devin Nunes and the House Judiciary and, and the Oversight Committee have been doing, they have to go to the Department of mm -hmm. Justice to, to uh, get a subpoena uh, fully enforced. Great. That is fundamentally wrong. I, as chairman of the Oversight Committee, I could issue a subpoena. Then they had to turn over to the Department of Justice and they'd look at it and say, no, I don't think we're going to do that. Wow. That's not a co-equal branch of government. The Congress has to stand up for itself. So, I mean, but are there any specific reforms that you would Absolutely. advocate? This, this whole concept of inherent uh, contempt, the ability to, if you actually hold somebody in contempt, to actually be able to enforce that. For the very first time in the history of the United States, we held Eric, we held Eric Holder in contempt of Congress. And a couple of weeks later, he's back testifying yeah, yeah. on Capitol Hill as if nothing happened. You've got to starve the beast. You've got to be able to fire federal yes, employees. I agree with if that. If they don't pay their much. taxes, you've got to be able to fire them. We don't collect it. about a billion dollars in taxes each year from federal employees. They get paid by the federal taxpayers. They don't pay their taxes. And they keep working at the federal government. I think we it's should do some kind of double. I so agree with that, this deep state stuff. My plan was to unmask the deep state and then fire them, and then we know what we're doing. All right. <laughs> Out of time on that one.